Hello fellow crafters and welcome to Max DM Crafting. In this episode we will continue our Dwarven Dungeon series with a spectacular piece, some modular Dwarven Pillars. Epic! So, Dwarven Pillars, yes, these are pieces that I like very much, are very cheap uh, pipes from uh, some Amazon links, I don't know. This process is very, very easy and I started with uh, pieces of uh, chipboard. Here I'm preparing uh, 2 by 2 inches bases and I'm using one of those for create a template. So I started with the base of the pillars. These are uh, 2 by 2 inches per uh, half an inch high and with my pen I'm just drawing some uh, decoration all over the piece. That's it. Aluminum foil technique and uh, yeah, the texture is ready. Very simple, very effective. I needed four pillars, so for each one I need uh, one top piece and one base. Also, I need some uh, blocks that I'm creating here. These are uh, one and a half inch per side and uh, around uh, one eighth of an inch thick. For the actual pillar I'm using these blocks. Those are uh, one inch and three eighths per side and three inches high. Now for the decoration you can uh, use two methods. The first one is uh, having slices of foam and then uh, you cut one by one with your uh, knife like that with a 30 degree angle. Or you can use the power of the proxon. Here I'm using just one piece as a template. With the angle cutter I'm just having my shape, a few seconds. And then look at that, you can create dozens of uh, slices in very 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 few time. This is the power of the proxon. I'm cutting this uh, that I will call uh, like little houses. And then uh, I just cut some uh, little roofs like that, you see? Now I'm using tacky glue for put everything together. Why tacky glue? Because the tacky glue gives me some time for uh, position the pieces and have everything put in the very very precise way. Hot glue is not so merciful, so I prefer to have some time like that, you see? You put all the pieces and then you have time to put in place, in the right place, with some precision. The bottom part of the pillar are uh, the most uh, complicated, as you can see, but not complicated at all, it's very simple. I'm using my table for uh, a flash positioning of the pieces. Yeah, and basically we need four pieces like this one. Nice. And just we left it to dry. For the upper part we are using blocks that are uh, one inch and a quarter by side and three inches tall. This time we will use uh, just one 
little decorative piece for the top and as you can see here I'm using tacky glue very fast very easy I'm not positioning well in the first moment I'm just attaching pieces very very fast and then again I'm using my table and uh, with the tacky glue you have some time to positioning the pieces in a precise way like that you see just dry time Now here we have all the pieces that we need, as you can see I'm positioning all the pieces, so we have the cardboard and we have the bases, the bottom piece, the middle blocks, the top pieces and uh, then we have the top of the pillars. And now I am playing with my pipes, here I find the solution, I like it very much before I put everything together, after the drying time, you need to finish the decorative part. So I was drawing some lines freehanded. You can see that I'm not using rulers or stuff like that because uh, if you do it freehand, it seems more, you know, real. It seems more carved in stone. I like this raw aspect. Now we are ready to put everything together, hot glue to be very fast, just take care to positioning everything together. As you can see here, I just rebuild the pillars as shown before. And before I put the, you know, chipboard base, I add a big screw at the base. This is very helpful if you need some uh, extra weight to the base because those are uh, very high pillars so it's better to have a little bit of extra weight on the base hot glue and that's it nice Now for the pipes I need some rivets, so I'm using some uh, super glue. This is a, a gel super glue that allows me to be very precise, very clean. And I'm using these uh, little uh, jewelry pieces, bits that I have for rivets all the time. I'm putting some rivets, not so much because uh, yeah, I like this style, quite clean. At the end, this is the result, you see, quite nice. Yeah, one, two, and a little one. Three big pipes to add. For this plastic, no way guys, you need to use some acrylic primer with a can like that because uh, normal acrylic paint will not attach, so this is uh, necessary. Please wear your mask and uh, do it outside if you can. As you can see here, I need to remove a little piece of my decoration for uh, a perfect adherence of my piece. This is a colored one because I was waiting for the other one to, to dry so I use a clone for uh, the measurements so I create another one and uh, here a little, uh, little tip, little trick, I'm using the nose for creating some holes And uh, yeah, now I'm using some uh, round sticks, wooden sticks for uh, sustain actually the, the pipes. More for embellish the piece, more for a uh, touch of realism.
as you can see here I'm using tacky glue on the inside so I have uh, time for a move and uh, put the piece at the right distance so it's not fixed yet tacky glue needs some time for dry I'm using hot glue for the big pipe I place it in the spot that I prepared before so this is uh, immediately fixed And now with some uh, gel super glue, I can move my sticks against and attach the pieces to the pipes. This is very, very, very precise, very clean. So in this way, you fix everything together without any effort, okay? Then I add some bits from uh, my Dwarven army of Warhammer Fantasy and this is it before painted in black. As usual I prepare a solution of uh, black acrylic paint, water and mod podge. This is the result after I black bombed everything dry time and we are ready for paint it's uh, a very simple paint guys I want to keep it very simple for two reasons first of all because this is a uh, heavy stone it's not uh, something like marble it's dwarven nude stone and I'm using this uh, mixture of gold and bronze dwarf bronze with my airbrush for the pipes and for the little details little shields Then I apply some uh, gray, light gray. This allows me to cover some uh, gold that was spreading around. So as you can see here, I'm using the, the gray for cover some uh, paint crap. The second reason I want to keep this simple because uh, I need many many pieces like this for uh, this dungeon that I'm preparing so I want to be them the, the same color the same. The end just a little uh, you know brown wash for the gold parts for the pipes for the rivets just for putting evidence some details and uh, yeah it's pretty much it these pillars are great you can just split them in two you can choose or you put them together like that for have high pillars or you just can use the base or the top as half pillars but the result is a great immersion very nice Okay guys, this is it for today, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you like this video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Also share this channel with your friends and you will help this community grow. Remember, if you think that my work is inspirational and somehow useful for the community, support this channel through Patreon or Paypal. Also, if you want to buy some of the equipments and materials that I'm using, check the description box below. Those are uh, Amazon affiliated links, so no additive costs for you and you will help this channel grow and do better and better. Till next time, stay safe and take care.